very good morning to all today we are going to see a topic about dependencies in this session we are going to discuss dependencies the this, this dependencies make a some of the stalls which get pipeline get affected that means we have uh, several type of de dependencies based upon those dependency handling various instructions which may create a hazards let me discuss one by one first one is structural dependency structural dependency arises due to the resource conflict in the pipeline this resource conflict is a situation which uh, occur one uh, one instruction tries to assess the same resource in the same cycle itself that means consider this diagram in this diagram we have uh, instruction instruction as well as cycles here cycles is 1 2 3 4 5 that means we have total number of cycles is 5 and instruction is 4 in this case each instruction going to perform different stages that means stages is instruction fetch inst instruction decode execute as well as memory so in, uh, during the instruction one first cycles get executed second cycle is executed third cycle is also going to execute simultaneously when it, this uh, instruction fetch is moved to decode instruction to going to handle the fetch instruction similarly when instruction moves to decode instruction three fetch is going to perform it Similarly, instruction three, which moves to decode process, instruction four will go into perform it. So in during up to instruction three, uh, the dependencies never exist. But in this case, instruction four, when try to utilize the memory in cycles, in same cycles, four in the fourth cycle, instruction one going to utilize the memory as well as instruction four to utilize the memory, even though it is a fetch cycle. So this is the resource conflict. One solution is that that means uh, instead of uh, uh, using the memory to instruction simultaneously, better we can use a delay operations till the memory is utilized by the either any one of the instruction, but we cannot uh, uh, give the priority to them. So uh, this delay may lead to hazards. So better solution is uh, we're going to use hard work mechanism called renaming techniques. That means we divide the memory into two independent modules used to store the instructions and the data separately which is called as a coded module as well as data data memory data data memory so cm will contains that means code memory will contain all the instructions and it's going to handle all the type of instruction and dm will going to contain all the operands that is required for the instructions so by two separate memories this type this dependencies can be rectified at. next we going to see about control dependencies in control dependencies, the dependency occur due to the transfer of a control from one instruction to an, an, another instructions that are moving from one address to another address based upon the operations. Some of the uh, instructions are branch, call, and jump. In this uh, second, consider this instruction, I1 inst instruction going to uh, complete in at, under, I, address, under the address, and I2 go, going to complete the process, and it needs to perform a jump process at 250 then it going to perform i3 but it want to complete the for this stage i2 completely it move to the address at 250 so consider this diagram in this diagram instruction one uh, it's no dependencies instruction two also has no dependencies but while it's still instruction two it going to perform decode process before completing it the instruction three going to perform enter into third cycle this may leads uh, dependencies to avoid this we, to avoid this type of in the, uh, dependency we need some delays if we need uh, some delays means it may leads to yeah, it may leads to others also but compared uh, compared to this case time dependency in delay is very less so that some of the techniques are we used that means either we're going to use branch predictions matter that means whether the branch is going to done or not so based upon the prediction method we can able to avoid this type of dependencies next we're going to see about data dependencies which will lead to data assaults consider uh, this statement 
instruction one and instruction two here. In this case, instruction one, uh, you are going to perform with R1, R2, and R3 registers. Similarly, instruction two going to perform a subtraction process with R4, R1, and R2. That means uh, in this case, addition and subtraction going to perform it. But in this case, uh, R1 is utilized in instruction one also, and R2 is utilized in the instruction one. Similarly here, instruction R2 is written here and R1 is also utilized here. So, so that in above instructions are executed in pipeline process. This may lead to data dependency. That means, which may, which means that I2 tries to read the data before I1 writes it. Therefore, I2 incorrectly gets the value, which is now old value. Uh, that means it don't get a updated values. So this may leads to hazards also. That means old values or uh, may by using the old values, either it's going to perform subtraction process means uh, th this may leads to data hazards. To avoid this type of situation, we use opt-in forwarding method. That means we are using the interface register to present between the stages as well as to, to hold the intermediate output so that dependency of the instruction can access the new value from the interface register directly. So this type of hazards can be eliminated. So these are the three type of hazards we have discussed here, structural hazards, data hazards, and control hazards. This three, once we eliminate the uh, eliminate these three hazards, the performance of inst instruction handled by the pipeline processor is much more improved. Thank you.